Good morning, folks. We usually begin with solar analysis here, but we've got a couple of things that are too cool to wait, like one of the best eclipse videos ever taken. This is making the rounds at spaceweather.com as well. That took place on the 20th and is linked for you below, along with a fireball streaking across the sky over Nova Scotia. And just as they got the last person off this bus in Brazil, <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, goodbye. The sinkhole opened up during record smashing rainfall, which is a heck of a thing in the rainforest, and even more amazing when compared to drought areas nearby that have never been this dry in human history. Last in the cool video links for this morning is a tornado that spawned right in the watch area from last night. If you follow us on Twitter, you knew it was coming. We'll jump back to the U.S. watch zone for tonight near the end of this video. Okay, let's get to the sun. Something to watch for. A wall of plasma crests the northeastern limb. It's a filament and will face Earth in five or six days. It has been a very calm period on our star. No big solar flares, even fewer CMEs. And we've seen three filament surges or destabilizations that have failed to release. Got umbral field activity on the left at the equator coming in soon. The next filaments to go are those central filaments. In fact, they are snapping around here this morning. Will be something to watch today. Here's three days of solar flares and a brief uptick appears waning. We've got sunspot numbers rising to a near peak very soon, but with the only flare potential coming in the big group. But even that has lost complexity as the delta regions are decaying, leaving barely an interaction left. Solar wind. Relatively steady here, but if anything, we are calming with no anomalous readings. Not that our magnetic shield noticed. A deviation last night is one of the oddest anomalies I've seen in a while. We do know that it was impulsive and no magnetic storm ensued. Combine the aforementioned sunspot peak to come in a day or two with this coronal hole to be facing Earth. I'll go ahead and raise the earthquake alert up another level. We did see some volcanoes and Indonesia rocking at the start, but with the biggest quake of the last day being a 4.9 in Canada, this mid-watch quake lull could end with a bang as the weekend approaches. How about this? It is being considered a major breakthrough. Water flows along solid surfaces, and they can be directed with electric currents and fields. Yep, brand new science here. Nobody would have ever thought to try that before. Someone really ought to give those folks a medal. Of course, those folks should turn around and give it to Billy, but that's neither here nor there. I've got his full playlist linked for you below, by the way. We've also got a terrific Starwater article about Mars, definitively different carving than that from CO2. It is that time, temperature delta in the U.S. coming from dueling pressure situations. High pressure out to sea. Low pressure to the west-northwest of it, both pull upward north where they meet in the middle, and the western side of the low drives cool air down to the south. In the center, you see the convergence line where heat meets cold, still near last night's storm area, but by tonight it will extend and shift up so that it invades Pennsylvania and New Jersey and some other areas nearby. Check your local forecast tonight. It's likely to get severe right along the collision point, with everywhere south of that line having a wet one as well. Remember those two alerts in Europe yesterday. They have shifted and expanded and are actually beginning to mush together a little bit. Despite the obviousness of the convergence line cutting through the UK, the systems truly are merging at the cloud layer and you've essentially got an enormous percentage of the land under those clouds today. We'll do this backwards with Australia and New Zealand. How do we get these purple precipitation zones down here? Well, we've got a low atop Tasmania, a low cresting New Zealand, with the first low wrapping a convergence line back up and around to the other alert areas. Easy. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Oh, and if I didn't give you enough cool links to check out, I added one more from our video yesterday highlighting Dr. Robitaille's work. That's the first one to click. Eyes open, no fear at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.